One thing that I really like about the label Monster Cat is that their music visualizer looks damn cool. I'm saying this because you get all those ringy stuff always like that of Trap Nation or NCS. So instead of copying those because there are thousands of them already, let's copy Monster Cat because they're better. <laughs> So for this one, we'll be using both Adobe After Effects and Premiere Pro because if you try to do everything in After Effects and don't be scared because I know many people just run away whenever I say After Effects. So I I'll show you. It's very easy. This thing at least. I don't know about the rest. So hey guys, if you are new over here, my name is Prithviraj and I upload videos regarding content creation. So if that's something that might interest you, I'd really appreciate if you could hit that subscribe button. It should be somewhere in the frame. And if you have any query or you want to give me some suggestion or video idea, you can just DM me on Instagram. So do follow me over there. All right. So firstly, open After Effects. Don't get scared. I was scared initially, but trust me, it won't bite you. So once we are in After Effects, you will see this option called new composition. So basically you'll have to click on that and uh, you'll get a range of stuff. So over there, you can just select the size of the video you want to be and I want it to be 60 FPS. So just set that 1080p at 60 and the duration you can set the length of the song. So for this one, I'm setting it to four minutes. I think that should be enough for majority of songs nowadays. And in the background color, we're just going to use green because we plan on doing a green screen on this one instead of that doing everything in After Effects, like I said. So once that is done, it will create a new composition for you guys. And then you can just drag and drop your song to the project media bin over there on the left side. And now just drag it to your timeline and you'll be done for now. Now just right click on an empty space and create a new solid. And whatever it is, just click on OK. You don't have to read that. So it will be creating a gray kind of background on a new layer. So that's what we are after. Now go to effect and generate audio spectrum. So just click on that and it will basically create the audio spectrum for you in that two clicks kind of thing. So the audio spectrum is more or less created, but we just need to tweak it a lot to make it look like Monster Cat. So let's do that. So first things first, we'll have to make sure that it is synced with the audio that is playing or the song that we have. So on the left hand side, you will be seeing this option called audio layer. So go click on that and from the drop down list, just select the song which you just imported. So once that is done and you can play the song and see it is actually reacting to the music. So 90% of the work is done, I guess. So the 10% should be the finishing touches. So let's do that. Now you can just go to the colors tab and select the color you want. I'll be sticking with white for this one cause it looks clean and minimal. So yeah, I'll be choosing white in both inside and outside color. And below that you'll be getting an option called side options. So from there, just click on side A because we just want the graph to be on the top side and not the bottom or both. So we'll be just selecting side A, which refers to the part above the horizon or whatever you want to call it in this case. So if you have seen Monster Cat's visualizers, then you might have seen they have a lot of lines. So you can just increase the frequency bands for this one. So on the left hand side also, we'll be having an option called frequency band. So let's just increase it to the preferred number. And as you can see, it's better. It looks better than before. You can keep it like this if you want to, but we want to tweak it to make it look more like the Monster Cat one. So this is the tricky part, the start frequency and the end frequency. For that, you just need to understand audio a bit. So there are many frequencies from low to high. So for this one, we just want to focus on the low frequencies because the current waveform has all the frequencies in it. The low frequencies refer to the bass, the mid to the vocals and other instruments and the highs to the drums like hi-hats or something like that. So for visualizers, we just want to focus on the low ends because that's the area which reacts the most. So for now, we can see the entire spectrum, but we don't want it. So we'll be just trimming it down a bit. So you can just set the start frequency to 20 and um, end frequency maybe to 400 and see how it looks. You can even make it more shorter, like 200 to 150, something like that to get a more dense kind of thing. But for this one, we'll just uh, stick to 200 maybe or let's see. And I kind of like the result at this moment. So I'm going to keep 300 as the end frequency. You can even uh, drag and drop it anywhere if you want to. And now let's set the maximum height, like how high can it go? So let's do it a bit, not much, cause we don't want it to like go outside the graph itself. So yeah, that's not something you would like to happen. Just play around and see which one you like the most and you can keep it. 
So I kind of like how it looks at this moment. So there are many other settings like small settings which you can tweak to make it look better but I don't really use them. So yeah, like the thickness and softness but I avoid them. So once you are done you can just export it and add to render queue. So if you are using windows then you might have something else over here. So just select quick time it will save a lot of space else it's gonna be a very large file and it's gonna take a lot of time to render. So make sure quick time is selected and just click on OK. And you can just select the path where you wanna render it. So for me, I'm just gonna render it on my desktop itself cause why not? Let me just name it audio spectrum.mov and just save it. And after that, we'll just click on render and we'll just have to wait till the time it actually finishes rendering in After Effects. And then we can just move on to Premiere Pro. So once in Premiere, I'll be importing the video we just exported. And this is how it looks since we did it on a green screen, it's gonna be a lot easier. So I also imported the that thing album art of my song. So I'm just going to import that as well. So I can show you how you can actually make it look like monster cat. So I'm going to stretch it to fill in the song. And uh, for now we'll be just using green screening. I've made an in-depth video on how you can edit green screen. So if you're interested in that, you can click the I button just right now to see that. So go to FX and search for this thing called ultra key and drag and drop to that audio spectrum video that we had. And now from the FX controls, you can just go to the key color and select green and it will basically remove it. So you can just tweak other stuff. I'll be just switching it to aggressive for this one. You might not even need to do this. So just play around and see which works. So yeah, it already looks good as of now. So now let's just play around with the rest of stuff to make it look a little better now. So for example, I'll be adjusting the image a bit. And maybe we can add uh, some blur to it. So this step is optional. Like if you want to do it, you can do it. So I'll be adding a Gaussian blur on my background over there and increase the blurriness a bit. And we can just play around with the scale of the spectrum now and place it to the desired area. So for me, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna place it somewhere in the center maybe. And let's see what else can we do. So let's import the album art once again. So. We'll just extend it to fill everything and now this time let's make it smaller so that we can like push it to the sides or something like that you might have seen this in the intro kind of thing uh, so i'll just make it down and just adjust it a bit and now once that is done you can just click the t icon over there to add a text layer and you can just write whatever you want for example i'm gonna write the name of the song so after that, you can just go to window and go to workspaces and open up the graphics workspace so that you can get more controls with the fonts and other stuff. So once we are in the essential graphics tab, so just select the text which you want to do. So you can just press Ctrl A to select everything at once. And we can now do whatever we want, like we can change the font and do stuff. So I'll be going with Montserrat for this one. You can select any font you like and just place the uh, song name and the artist name like that. You can just trim the last portion because we had some extra time because we made our timeline of four minutes. So you can just clip that off. And after that is done, you can just export this video to whatever you want. And once that is done, you can simply export this video. So it'll be just rendering it. You can select uh, the YouTube settings as well. Like you should be knowing all this stuff if you have been using Premiere for a while. So let's just export it and that's basically done. We'll be getting a monster cat visualizer that easily. So I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, then I'd really appreciate if you could sub to this channel. And if you have any doubts regarding this, you can just DM me on Instagram and I'll try to get back to you. So thanks for watching guys and I'll catch you guys in the next video very soon. Till then, have a great time. Hasta la vista.